Hey guys, Ben here, Geelong Cable Locations. Just out on a job and I thought I might grab the camera and do a bit of a, uh, a tip video or a hack video. And yeah, a ninja tip, it's probably the right way of saying it. Uh, to help those of you that are new to locating, those of you that don't have much experience, those of you that are new, those of you that don't really do that much locating. Uh, I've just come across a job and I reckon this might help some of you out. So let me give you a bit of an overview of the site first. So you know where I'm working, what's going on. So they're gonna be putting a new fence up along here and they've asked me to come out and tell them what's out on the site. They're also going to be putting another fence over here so people don't go down into the creek. Um, and we've come out to the site and it looks like there's been a locator out here already doing some locating. Um, and we've seen, uh, so you've got a water meter right here. So there's a water meter here. This feeds the toilet block up there and the water from the toilet, the water to feed it, the water that feeds the water meter comes from the street. So the water main is in the street. The water pipe comes along to the water meter and then from the water meter it goes over to the toilet block. Now, the locator that's been here in the past, we've got a feeling, I don't know if it's a locator or a plumber, but whoever's been here have got, uh, now I should have really, they've used blue and I've used blue. So I should have really used a different color just so I could do this video for you guys. I wasn't actually planning to do a video <laughs> when I was here for the client and, and we're gonna use blue because that blue is the Australian standard. Anyway, let's move on. Um, so at the water meter, they've bitten onto it or whoever's located it and they've located it down through here. And then you see through here, it looks like it's been dug up. So we've got a feeling, or I've got a feeling, that they've dug down to fix a leak. There must have been a leak or something there, and that's why they've dug down there and fixed it and patched the leak up. So I've come, as I said to you, they're digging over there. So I've come and uh, bidden onto the water meter. I've located the copper water pipe through here, through here, through here. Then bang, stops. Could not locate it any further along. Why? Because they must have done a plastic, uh, plastic join, and they must have fixed it with a plastic join. So what I've done instead is um, uh, disconnected my um, locator up there, so I did bite onto the water meter. I've disconnected it, I've grabbed my transmitter and I've placed my transmitter the other side of it. So what you do, so imagine, um, yeah, your signal comes over and then you've got a plastic join, but you know it's only plastic there because it was copper at that part. So you, sorry, you don't know, you assume that the rest of the pipe could be copper as well and it could only be one little plastic join that they fixed it. So the tip is, for any of you that are locating, if you've located all great, a good signal, all good, then all of a sudden it stops um, and you're like, why did it stop there? There could just be a plastic join. It could, a lot of times it's easier, when, when, they, when you hit a pipe or when there's a pipe, when there's damage in the pipe, it's easier to put a plastic join in it than what it is to get, uh, to uh, put a proper uh, copper join in. Copper, proper copper join is the way it should be done, be press it or whatever or solder it, uh, but, uh, a lot of times, um, they'll just put a plastic joint. So what you do is you just simply get your transmitter and put it on the other side. So I've placed my transmitter down, walked over there, and bang, I was able to locate it. So now I locate it at the back, I moved the transmitter from there over to there, and you'll see my blue dots. That is where the pipe still goes. So the pipe is still live, it's still there. It's not an old pipe, it's still the current pipe. The only difference is they've put a little plastic joint in there. This is, as I was saying earlier on, this is where he wants to put his fence. He was worried that because he saw that, he was worried that the pipe might have come in through here and it's going to be right close to where he was. So I've just made his day because it is nowhere near him. He's going to be fine to put his fence in there. So yeah, that is my little tip for you guys. A little ninja hack. Is that the way of saying it? I'm pretty sure that's what you say. Is when you come across a situation where you're locating something all good and then the signal stops and you can't get any further, try this good and get the transmitter and put it on the other side. The other reason why I want to do this video to show you this is because uh, and the, yes, those of you that do like locating for a while, have, have been locating for a while, will say, yeah, that's common sense. We all know that, Ben. So why are you doing a video? And it's because I saw this. Have a look. So the locator that was here before, some, or so whoever it was, I keep saying locator, but it could be a plumber, has wrote this. And what I th think it is, is UTT, unable to trace. So they've bidden onto it and they can't trace it going up through there. And again, why? I've got a feeling that there might be a plastic join in there at the bottom or somewhere around here. So what I did is I simply moved, uh, beca because I it had success there and, and because he's digging up here, I said to him, let's try again. So we just grabbed the transmitter and put it down here. Put it down here and bang, I was able to locate it the whole way to the toilet. Well, actually not the whole way, I, I then moved the transmitter from there about halfway, put the transmitter down there. I was then able to mark the rest of it going back this way. Through here, the signal is real weak, real poor. So I said to him, the, the 
poly join, it might be over here somewhere, it might be somewhere else. There's nothing else over here, nothing else here at all. So even if, even though I put my transmitter here and a pipe might be over here, the signals, I've, I've used a higher frequency. When you're trying to find something that you're not too sure where it is or if you're getting it right, try and use a higher frequency than lower frequency. Lower frequency will get you further, but I used 83 as higher frequency and it's gay gives you, and a signal will jump onto anything else in the area. And it's okay out here, because there's nothing else out here. So I'm happy to have it use a higher frequency. So yes, I used 83, and the signal jumped onto the pipe, and then I was able to trace the water pipe through there. So yes, I hope that makes sense, guys. Uh, so basically, if you're locating something, you're locating it, and you can't get the, um, and, you, and you come to a dead stop, you can't get any further, uh, and, you, and you know that, that it should go further, or you know it goes to somewhere else. Like, I mean, as we see in that situation, I've walked away now but the pipe's not gonna stop there. It's gotta to go to the water main, so you know that the pipe still goes further. Just try grabbing the transmitter and uh, putting, at the, don't put it right where your signal stops, just put it just past where your signal stops. Um, or, or put it where, you, where your signal stops and just use a high frequency and turn the power up, something like that. So, hope that'll make sense. Guys, any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. You know the deal. Um, in the meantime though, do hope you're well. Take care and uh, yeah, catch you on the next video. See you guys.